Before earthing and short circuiting an overhead line, check all equipment carefully. The voltage detector must be checked for damage. The rated voltage and frequency must be matched to the intended use. And the date of the next maintenance test must be checked. If everything is in order, the voltage detector and the insulating rod are plugged together, making sure that they are securely locked in place. After that, the voltage detector can be placed in or on the track bed. The earthing and short circuiting device need to be checked before use. The clamps must function properly, be corrosion free and move smoothly. Additionally, the clamps should be fully opened to facilitate attachment to the rail and contact wire later on. The earthing rope must be checked for any discoloration or damage to the insulation before use. If there is even the slightest doubt about the proper functioning of the voltage detector, earthing and short circuiting device or earthing rod, do not use them. To attach the rail earthing clamp, the track ballast under the rail is removed. Any dirt on the rail should be also removed. The rail earthing clamp is applied to the full surface of the rail and tightened. Now check the earthing rod. The receptacle for plugging in the catenary earthing clamp is set to E for unlocked. Then the bar is extended and fixed at working height. The line clamp is now inserted into the earthing rod receptacle and the receptacle is set to V for locked. The preparations are completed and we can start now. First step, determine the absence of voltage in the overhead line. Rule 3 of the 5 safety rules. Switch on the voltage detector and hang it onto the overhead line with the hook electrode. The green light signals that the overhead line is voltage free. If the test shows that the overhead line is live after all, the voltage detector lights up red and gives an acoustic warning. You must stop at this point. When there is no voltage present, the line clamp is now brought up to the contact wire and fastened. This establishes the conductive connection between the overhead line and the rail. The drag section is earthed and short-circuited. Rule 4 of the 5 safety rules is fulfilled. Earthing rod and voltage detector remain suspended in the track during non-profile earthing as an additional marker of the worksite. 